Photoshop custom shapes can be applied as is or you can transform the custom shapes. Now this is a quick tutorial show you some options for uh, transformation of custom shapes. Now custom shapes in this are applied as a shape layer. Of course you can't redo really it if you just apply it as a fill. So uh, shape layer, set that one just there. Custom shape tool, the color has been set and now I'm just going to go in. Now here are some lattice designs. The lattice designs are from Graphic Extras. You can find them as a freebie selection on the site. There's also many thousands of other Graphic Extra custom shapes available. Photoshop, CS5, CS6, etc. As well as before. Select that. that design. And I'm just going to quickly apply that. And of course you could just use that design. You could just obviously duplicate that design if you wish. Just duplicate and duplicate. Rotate it. Right. Now the basic transformations and I've set the show transform controls to be on and I can just scale of course obvious one as well as rotate and you can also resize in one direction up and down. Now obviously that's not very exciting but uh, you can also transform design by using shear and perspective and I'm just going to now hold down the control key and this is on a PC there's different settings for a Mac hold control and then you can make it look like it goes off three-dimensional sort of into the into the picture drag it out this way now you can hold the shift down and that will then constrain the actual angle of the distort and I'm just going to go over to this one over here and again like so you can't shift it any other way because you've got the shift down so it's constrained so you can drag it off into the distort it in many different ways now I'm going to release that control alt and you can sort of turn this around in space again you can again create different designs can use the shear this is again just shearing it across both sides now hold the control down and the bottom one will stay be fixed because I'm not I'm just using the control point there so it's just it's just the control and it's shearing across again you can create some very interesting sort of three-dimensional light designs just by holding the of course you can go to the other one as well and go up and down and again the other side remains frozen and now you can go over to the control alt and shift and you can actually apply as in perspective so you can actually see it sort of disappearing off to a vanishing point and I'm just gonna you can actually distort it quite well so you can actually extend it ridiculously into a, so actually squeeze the the custom shape into a different design completely so I'm just gonna drag it out a bit there make it go off right so I'm just that point I decide right finished so that's custom shape you can actually go to define custom shape you can actually save that as a new custom shape so you can of course from that single shape you can save multiple different shapes and again you can of course just do the usual rotate or stem that. and then of course at the end you can if you wish just go layer flatten image you can also do layer duplicate to create another copy of that and or you can just go and select another shape and I'll just quickly do that delete that one so it's another shape there and some of these are actually already in a sort of three-dimensional sort of going off into a distance so uh, just going to uh, hold the control down again and distort that and again like so you can create just vast range of different shape designs just by simple use of transformation tools